Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an interactive card with a pull tab that reveals a hidden ballerina. I'll be using these Waffle Flower products today. First up is the Tutu Cute stamp set. I'll be using this ballerina, the curtain, and a sentiment from this set as well. I'll be using the matching Tutu Cute dies to die cut the ballerina and the curtain. I'll also use the pool tabs die set to create the pool tab. And I will also use the new A2 nesting rectangles one die to help me cut out the window for the ballerina. So here's the card we'll be creating today. The card actually doesn't require any foam tape for the pool tab portion of the card. The only craft foam that we are gonna use or foam tape is to lift that front panel up to have that hidden element to this card. But the pull tabs die is really ingenious because it allows you to create pull tabs without having to use any foam tape, which is really amazing. And again, I'll show you one more time here, the shot of the backside where you can see kind of the mechanism. But of course, we'll be constructing that so you'll see how it works. So I'm starting with an A2 panel of pink card stock. I'm going to cut the window for the stage using the third die from the new A2 nesting rectangles one die set. As you can see, that third die fits nicely inside the curtain or for the stage from the Tutu Cute stamp set. I'm gonna do some partial die cutting here. So it cuts three sides of this re rectangle, but not the top portion. I will hand cut the top portion to kind of create like a square uh, with an X-Acto knife when I'm done. First, I'm gonna use some purple tape here to hold that die in place. And then I'm going to take my top plate to my die cutting machine and not completely cover this rectangle die. If I completely cover it, it'll completely cut out the rectangle, but by stopping short, that upper portion of the die will not be cut. I'll just have to rotate the um, sandwich here just so it feeds into my die cutting machine a little bit easier. So it's a little bit more of a gradual, um, feeding into the gradual height change. Just feed it in here, and then I'll pop it out and you can see where it stopped cutting. So it won't cut where the die, where the top plate ends. And I'll peel off the, pull off the um, die here. And you of course could just use, if you had a square um, die, you could just use that instead. I just didn't have a square die that was the right shape or right size, but that rectangle die was perfect except for the fact it was too long. <laughs> so I'm now using a ruler and X-Acto knife and just cutting off that last side so of my window. Just remove that in um, the negative pieces and then just one more check here to make sure that cur curtain fits nicely. Yes, so now I'm ready to move on to the next step. The next thing I'm gonna do is take an A2 top folding card base and I'm going to die cut the channel for, or track for the pull tabs. So you can kind of see the two lines there that were cut in the, the stage, the backside of the stage in that opening. This is the die that cuts that um, track. This is from the pull tabs die set. And I'm going to cut that track on that upper, about the upper third portion of the, um, the card base, but I don't want to cut through both sides. So you can see here, I tucked the bottom half of my card base under my bottom plate. And now I've grabbed my pink panel just to help me make sure that I make the track right in the center of the stage or right in the center of the opening. And then I will grab some purple tape here to hold it in place. And then I will run it through my die cutting machine. Now I will also have to do a partial die cut as well on this so I don't cut the track completely all the way through the edge. So you can see there I stopped short about three-fourths of an inch to an inch short from of the edge and that will cut basically a track right in the upper third centered but right in the upper third of my card. So I'll pull it off here and you'll be able to see that track and you see because I put that bottom half of my card base under the bottom panel of my die cutting machine, it didn't cut through to the other side of the card. So now that I've got my front panel and my card cut with the 
track or channel, I'm going to now cut the negative for the um, tab. I'm going to, I want that to cut through both the front panel and the card, but also once again, I don't want it to cut through to the back side of the card as well. So I'm going to tuck that back side of the card under the um, pan, the, the um, plate, just like I did before to make the channel. And then I'm going to actually run both the card base and this pink uh, panel through my die cutting machine at the same time. So I'll cut both of these in the exact position. So the negative is on is in the exact same position on the card base as it is on the front panel. So there, I'm just turning it around here so I can run it um, instead of horizontally through my die cutting machine vertically so it'll be a little bit easier to cut. And then I'll run this through. So now that I've run it through my die cutting machine, I'm just going to peel off the uh, purple tape and um, show you how well this die cut through both layers of the um, paper. But it didn't cut through the backside because I tucked that backside of the card again, one more time, underneath the plate. There you go. So now you can see I've got my notch or my little negative space for my pull tab um, created on both the card base and my card front. So now I just have a scrap of red cardstock. I'm going to grab the pull tab die from the pull tab die set. You can see it right there on the back side. It's the part that actually moves when you um, pull the tab. I'm going to cut that out of the same red cardstock. And I will also cut the little bridge piece, that tiny little rectangle. I'm calling that the bridge piece. These are part of the mechanisms to make the um, pull tab work. And I will put these aside for when I'm ready, when I've got all the um, components ready to construct the card. I have one more piece to die cut. I need to cut the actual pull tab now. So I am grabbing this little pull tab die that has a cute little arrow die cut on it, which is awesome. So it's obvious that it's a pull tab to the um, receiver. And now I have all my pieces cut to put my pull tab together. Now I'm ready to work on the images for my card. So I have the two Too Cute stamp set. I'm going to pull off the curtain and the ballerina from this set. Just center it here on a scrap of white cardstock. I, you can see on the lower left side, I did practice some of the colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to actually color this with my Copics. So I'm going to stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black, which is an ink that's alcohol marker friendly. And I have it loaded in my Misty here just so I can stamp it a couple of times so it's nice and bold and crisp. So I stamped that a couple of times and now I'm ready to move on to coloring. So I will play some music for you guys while I color and I'll have the colors that I use on screen so you can follow along. I'll meet you back at the end when I'm almost finished. Okay, so I'm almost done here. I'm just finishing up by doing a little cleanup with a colorless blender. I just colored a little bit outside of the lines there so that will just pick up that um, ink. And now I'm ready to die cut those out with the matching dies from the Too Too Cute matching die set. I have the uh, front panel loaded in my Misty here because I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment now. I'm just about ready to put this whole card together. So I want to do this first before I've had, I adhere it down onto the card base. I'm just stamping it a couple times here with my Misty so it's nice and bold and black. And again, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink as well. 
So I'll pull that out of my Misty here and I'll grab all the pieces I need to put together this card. So I have my card base. Um, off camera, I also have the pull tab pull and then the little tab part, the bridge. And then here you can see I went ahead and die cut those images that I stamped and colored with the matching dies. I have those as well. I'm going to start with the pull for the this um, pull tab. It, I'm going to hold up to the camera here so you can see. And the pull here has these little tabs. You can see the die cuts these little tabs into the pull tab. And you will have to pop those open and then feed them through the slits that we cut using the track die from the pull tabs die set. So you can see here I'm feeding those through those slits and then I will fan, you can see they're fed through and now I'll fan them out. So I'm spreading them out a little bit and I've grabbed the bridge piece and I'm now gonna glue the bridge piece to those fanned out tabs. Just put a little bit of liquid glue on those tabs and then held it down for a second and now that bridge is adhered. I will cut off that excess from the tab, we don't need that. I'm moving on to some Tombow Mono multi-liquid adhesive to glue down that um, bridge because my other glue wasn't quite drying fast enough for my liking. And now I'm going to move on to gluing the actual tab onto the pull. I've got my pull completely um, pushed back. And I'll take that excess that we trimmed off earlier, put a little bit of glue on the sides, and glue that to the back of the card to hold that pull tab in place so it doesn't slide around on the back. Now I'm ready to uh, cut some craft foam here. And again, I'm only using the craft foam. I don't need it for the pull tab, actually. The pull tab is all constructed. All I have to do now is adhere the ballerina. But I'm using this so I can have um, a little spot to hide that ballerina, a little offstage spot for that ballerina. So I just cut some pink um, craft foam, a strip for the top and a piece for the bottom portion of the panel, and then glued that down. Now I'm gluing down the ballerina, just right on top of that bridge. And now I'll put some glue down on the craft foam and then glue that panel right on down, right on top of the card base. And I definitely only put the craft foam at the very top and the very bottom halves of the um, panel so the um, ballerina could move without running into any craft foam. And then the last thing I did was just glue that curtain down and this card is done. So now I'll pull that ballerina out so you can see how she moves. Just have to tuck her down a little bit so she pops back in. You can also, once the glue is dry, you can also um, with your finger just lift up that left side of the curtain a little bit so she doesn't catch when you try to move her back in. But this pull tab is all done. I love this pull tab die. I just think it's really brilliant how it's made. So you don't actually have to use any foam tape or craft foam to make a pull tab. It really allows you a lot more freedom when you're designing your cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com. And you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.